Hey everyone! Today I want to do a quick video on how I made the iPad that was shown in Chelsea's back to school haul. Check that video out if you haven't already, it's so fun. But let's get into making this iPad. Okay, so here is the little iPad template I made for this. I basically just drew a rectangle with similar iPad proportions, but made it slightly wider since this is going to be the case and there's going to be the pencil on the side. I'll link a printable version if you want, but it's pretty easy to sketch. Okay, now I'm going to cut this out of a piece of white paperboard. And what I always use for this is the box a bar of soap comes in. But instead of this, you could always use white cardstock or paper. After cutting this out, I'm going to start sketching out the outline of the actual iPad because this entire piece doesn't just include the iPad, it includes that space on the side for the pencil. So I'm just drawing a smaller rectangle within that with rounded corners and leaving a little bit of a space on the side. Now for the case, I'm going to cut this out of craft foam. So I'm using the paperboard piece as a template and using a pin to kind of score that edge. Then I'm going to trace one more and cut them out. Next, I'm going to cut out a little rectangle of paper to connect the two foam pieces. So I'm just putting the two foam pieces right next to each other, adding glue to the paper and then putting it flat on top in between them. Then I'm gluing the paperboard piece onto one of the sides. Now I'm going to make a few indentations in the iPad cover since I think most iPad cases are like this so you can like fold it up and prop up your iPad. And so I'm just using an old gift card to press in two straight lines on the cover. And then to define them more, I went back in with a pin and just tried to draw straight across, but it did not end up very straight. And you could also do this on the other side at this point, but I forgot, so I did it later. Now you can just paint the cover whatever color you want. I'm going to go with this baby blue to match my iPad. And the trickiest part is really just outlining that iPad sketch you already made, because the iPad's going to be white on the edge and then have the black screen. But after getting that done, the rest is really easy. I'm just painting the whole thing blue. Okay, while that's drying, I'm gonna draw out my Apple Pencil on just some white paper. And I'm just trying to match the size to the previous pencil I did, but my first one ended up being too small, so this is my second one. And I'm using just pencil for all the details because in real life, these little lines I'm drawing are super subtle, except for the charging port, so I could make that pretty dark. Now I can cut that out and glue it to the side of the iPad case. Next, I'm going to add the details to the actual iPad. So I'm going to start with the screen. So I'm first tracing it out in pencil. And I really just want the sides to be skinnier and then the top and bottom edge to have a wider white border. And it's kind of ironic I used a ruler to make this perfect little rectangle with pencil. And then I just go in with Sharpie and eyeball it. I don't use the ruler again for some reason. But I'm going to just color in this entire thing with Sharpie because that's what I did for the first one and I feel like it gives it still a nice shine, but you can always just use paint or black paper. If you don't want it to look off all the time, you could always watch my how to make an iPhone for a stuffed animal video because there I added the background and all the little apps, which you could do the same thing for here. Some finishing touches are just a little dot for the camera. And then the home key, I'm first sketching it out with pencil and I'm going over it so many times it's creating kind of a dent in the paperboard. And even though this part is usually silver, I'm just gonna go in with black pen to really make it pop. Okay, it is almost done, but I still have to add the little indents on the other side of the cover. So I'm gonna do that now. And then so it's not so plain on the outside cover, I'm gonna do a little cow print. I was going for blueberry cow, but usually it would be, you know, white with blue spots. And I ended up making the spots too big, so I did not like how this turned out. So later I went back and made the spots tinier. I think in the end though, I liked the flower design I did on the pink one better though. Okay, so here's how it looks after repainting it. And I think it looks a lot more like cow print. So that's what I was going for. Now that's pretty much it on how I made this iPad for a stuffed animal. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And please comment any more fall themed video ideas you have for November. I'll see you next time. Bye!